once said to me, it's a beautiful world, but I can't see it. The eye's lens is like a glass window, transparent, allowing light to pass through. However, the eye's lens is more than just a simple pane of glass. It is a living tissue and therefore needs to be healthy in order to be transparent. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, my PhD project looks at age-related cataracts, or more so, delaying the onset of age-related cataracts. Now, I know what you guys are all thinking now. Oh, God, here comes a boring bit. He's going to explain what a cataract is. Sadly, yes, you are right. But let me tell you, just hear me out, because it affects you. Yes, you, you, and in fact, everyone in this room, because we are all aging. Now, the best way for me to describe cataracts is through eggs. Now, for those of you who have not thought about the science of why the egg whites in, in a raw egg turn from transparent to white... Oh, yum! Um, and it it's because the heat d damages the proteins that make up those egg whites. Now, it is this exact same idea in the development of cataracts, except the causal factor is now aging. When this occurs, light cannot pass through the lens, and therefore, part of our vision becomes blurred. <laughs> now, to have a better understanding of how aging and cataracts are related, you must first understand the good guys, which are the antioxidants. These help protect the proteins in the lens. And, and also, the bad guys, which are the factors which reduce the amount of antioxidants. Now, what happens in aging is the amount of antioxidants that are delivered to the lens are reduced. So, as you age, day by day, there is more and more protein damage. So, this is what happens. And eventually, this is what happens. So, now you can't even see my beautiful face. But don't fear, Einstein the second is here. My PhD project aims to better deliver an antioxidant, more specifically glutathione to the lens, through not only a biological approach, but also an engineering approach as well. In a nutshell, even though cataract formation seems to be an inevitable process, my PhD hopes to delay that long enough so that you die before you get it. That's a very, very sad way to put it. But cataracts are a very, very true problem today. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.